Oh, that's the wrong one. All right. So in Zoom, do I do that through the Zoom meeting thing? Mm -hmm. Gallery view? Yeah, you should be able to um, share a screen. You should be able to see a, a, a green button at the bottom. All right. Awesome. Now, so in, in Kartra, I've kind of worked where I've gotten my landing pages. Nice. And my forms all set how I want them for my ads on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And and I went into communications and I set up like seven emails nice. for my sequences. Um, so I think, and I put, and I think I finished all the content kind of like how I wanted it to, to be. And literally, I think I'm just at the point where I'm going to launch it. So before I did that, I just kind of wanted to, um, ask a couple questions. So like, here's, yes. I got, I got these emails, um, and there's videos in each of them. One of my mm -hmm. questions was in these videos, when I, uh, get it in my inbox, cause I test it and stuff. You have when you click the um, when you click the video, it, it, it redirects you. Is that mm -hmm. normal? It well, if you click that link, should be in the email. If I click on that link in the email, it should take it should take me to that page. All right, so, so maybe that's so. This is what it's doing. Like I have this, mm -hmm. and this is one of them. You click this, and then it'll go and it'll redirect you. And then it'll go here for the person to watch. And is that um, kind of like normal to do it that way? It won't just uh, play it like in the email or anything? Yeah, yeah. Good question. Yeah, it will not play in the email. It will take okay. you out to the page. And that's a good thing. But that that link, was that a Karcher page? No, that, those, that video, it was just in my uh, – I, that's I, just didn't, like I a, don't have it linked to a page. It just – Okay. So I didn't, I didn't even think about doing that. So, so that video is hosted where? Is that video hosted? Click on it again. Where yeah, it's hosted in, in just in, in Kartra in the videos uh, hosting. I just, that's, that's just where it is. Um, okay. Okay. So the, well, I, I can, yeah, it's good. I can make a page for each one. So when they click the video, instead of redirecting to that page, it'll redirect uh, into just to that video, it'll redirect to a page. So I can do that. Yes, yes. I wanted yes. it to kind of pop up in the email so they could watch it. Mm -hmm. So this is just where the videos are. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, so I could put a, a, a page together for each one of the videos. And then in my email, um, when they click on that uh, video, it will go to the page, correct? Yes. Okay. And let me see your open up, go back to my pages and, and click on your thank you one real quick. Thank you for subscribing. Just click on the middle. Just click on the actual. Oh. Yeah, let me see it real quick. Okay, so that's a video. And then and then right below where that chick is at, what do you have below her? Is that is there anything, a button down below her or anything? Yeah, let's just open it up. Because what you can do is you can easily just take because I'm just assuming that this thank you page is a basic page with your video and a call to action button, like a button. Yeah. To click on. If anything, yeah. let me take a look at it real quick. So right below that, that girl is what? Okay. So we got the video and then right below her. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, dude. So if anything, you can easily take this page and just clone it. You want this, you want that video, you want each video in the email to go to a page okay. like this. Okay, so I can clone this page, and yep. then when I um, go into the sequences, mm -hmm. um, I can just um, somehow, that's where I was going to go, I was going to go to um, the If you go back to this, actually, yeah, in, yeah, you could say progress and then just, actually, you could just return a dashboard. That's fine, because you didn't make any changes to it. But um, in my communications, the way the way that email looks, you know, you have the image, they click on it, and then they watch the video. You can have the same thing set up, you know, just like just like that, where it's the image, and the moment they click on it, it it's very similar to have you, how you have it now. But it's not just going out to a video; it's going out to the actual page with the video on it. Um, but but what I'm saying is the email. Watch to go open up email content. 
So how do I get when they, this so, is the email. So how do I get when they click this, yeah. it'll go to that page. So yeah, I just so, like mm -hmm. go right there. and do a destination URL is the video. So, so rather than, rather than having a video slot there. Okay. So for example, hit the edit video, the arrow to the left. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's go to design templates. And then rather than a video spot there, slide over an image. And so what I was oh, saying. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. what I'm saying is the, the image, it could be the same exact thing, but the moment I click on that image, you're taking me to a, to a page. And so if you open up the pink, edit that pink pencil there. So hover over the image, pink. You could put that URL right there. So the page goes right there. And do you know okay. why I want to, why I'm suggesting a page? I would rather get landed on that whole that whole page than I would want. I don't want them redirected to that other thing. So but you, well, that that other thing can, it looked like a page. It it it, it was very similar. Right. Yeah. But, but do you Go know why? It. Like, we need a page. Go for it. Three reasons. Number one reason is because you could put your Facebook pixel on that page. I need to be able to pixel everyone. Everyone landing on any damn page. I'll, I need I need my pixel on that page. And that mm -hmm. video page, there's no pixel on it. That's number one. And then yeah. number two, yeah, you keep my attention by having the video right there and the video only. But it was similar to the other one, but same thing, but attention. Attention is number two. And then number three is that button. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just like on your thank you video, thank you page, there was that call to action below that chick. You want that button below that page in that email as well. Yeah, no, I love that. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that's that's what I'll, I'll work on. That. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. put those on those. Um, and just clone them, just clone that thank you page and just use that one over and over and over for all your emails right. for the videos in your emails. Right. Um, cool. So yeah, that was one of my questions. Um, the other one was the pixel actually. So yes. if I, if I'm going to do actual launch of it, um, I want to make sure that when I run my custom conversion mm -hmm. that like you were talking about my pixels on, so I need to put a go into Kartra and add my Facebook pixel to every single page that I create. I don't know if I've done that. Yes. And, and, and when you clone it, it makes it even easier. So yeah, add it to the thank you page and then boom, just clone it and okay. then you'll have it on every page. Okay. Um, but yeah, you'll so, want to add the pixel real quick um, to grab the, the pixel. Do I, am, I'm right in here in the, yes. uh, hit the dots right there. The dots. Spot. Yeah. And then let's go to events manager. And then what we'll do is we'll see, we should see, I think it's at events. Let me see. Uh, right there towards the middle of the page to the right. We'll see um, right there at events, that drop down to the right down. You see at events more. Yeah, yeah, I, right there. I do, yeah. There we go. And then from a new website and then install code manually and then just copy. And that's all you need. So it's copied. Now just bring it to the page and just um, and just paste it in. Uh, you don't need that right there. So just go back to the Kartra page. Just exit that. Okay. Yeah. So we just need the pixel. So you'll just um, yeah. No, edit. you'll want to put it on every page. Yeah. Edit. So I can't remember what, I know when we talked, we did one, but I don't know if we did them all. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to do this one more time. Yeah, for sure. sure. For sure. So I got the pixel on there. Um, and, and that's all Facebook needs. It just needs for me to take the pixel, pixel go to my Kartra and then do this. Otherwise, when I go to make my custom version, I just want to make sure when I do it, my mm -hmm. Facebook pixel is turned on. Yeah, the pixel, the pixel is obviously for the tracking, but, but yeah. mainly to set up the custom conversion which I don't think we did that, right? We didn't do it. We didn't set up a custom conversion. No, I was going to actually just do it real quick. Um, yeah. Yeah. The custom conversion needs to be set up and the pixel needs to be set up first. And then, and then also for custom audiences. Okay. So this one does have it in there. Yeah. Go ahead and well, make sure have... that's the right one though. Is that the right? Go ahead and just paste it again for the hell of it. Just paste it again. So just always remember your pixel ends. That's your pixel ID number right there. The one that uh, two, six, nine. So I always just kind of look at the last four digits. What is, what's the last four? Is, uh, Where is it? 8065, I think. Oh, okay, 269. Okay, last four is uh, 9808. 
Okay, nine eight zero. Yeah, it's so small. Okay. I, can, I can't even see it. So nine that's eight your, zero eight. Okay, that's your pixel. <laughs> and have you have you installed the Facebook Pixel Helper? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, so I'll make sure I'll make sure all my pages have that on there. Um, yeah. And, and always always say progress just for the hell of it. Yeah, Try not yeah. to leave it idle like this. Just oh yeah, dude, progress, for sure. Life. For sure. Yes. <laughs> I always. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> you you've already experienced. I could tell you've already experienced losing something. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you spent all this hopefully time. Hopefully, it wasn't. It wasn't too much. Okay. Good. Good. It wasn't too much. But, and then what uh, you can start okay. doing too, man, for the hell of it, is is customizing your links. Like even if your .dot com is not integrated, at least just customizing somewhat. Watch. Click on the three dots again. Uh, like right here. here. Yeah. Click on the three dots and then go to get get code. Okay. And then click on uh, get the page link. Okay, perfect. You got it. Thank you. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. customizing it, putting something right there is always better. You know. I think I you showed me that last time. I think I have been doing that. Awesome. To um. So. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so, you showed me that. So we're going. We we have. So if I if I want to grab my pixel in the future, I have to go to data sources, events from a new website, mm -hmm. and then. So it's the pixels, Brian Mitchell's pixel trying solar main page. Yes, that's the one. Um, and you can see right there. 9808. Okay. And if anything, what I would do too, man, is start a, 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 a folder at the top, a Facebook ad folder. Yeah. And just start okay. bookmarking all these different pages. Okay. You'll want to bookmark this page. You'll want to bookmark your custom conversion page. You'll want to bookmark your custom audience page. You'll want to bookmark For your sure. dashboard. That way you can get to the dashboard right away and run an ad. Like this is the dashboard right here. You'll want to bookmark this page. So when I want to run a custom conversion, um, I check go from here. Let me just go in from here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that'll take you straight into the setup when you click on add from there. It'll bring you straight to this step right here, and you'll right want to here. bookmark this page right. Is this here. this is where I want to do my custom conversion from right here, right? Yeah, you'll click on okay. conversions, but what you have to do first is you have to set up a custom conversion. See, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, so that means I have to go back into kind of where I was and yeah. set up a custom. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay, click okay. on the, the dots and then go events manager. So that's there we go. Okay. And then and then we're gonna click on the the triangle, the blue triangle, to the left. Now the custom conversion, it's built around or it's set up around the thank you page. So right. the pixel, see how that right there, it says lead and that dot is yellow. Yeah. That pixel may not be on your thank you page. See, I don't know what this is from. But see, we just, yeah, let's I get don't rid even of know that. When, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. So right. can we delete that? I don't know if you can actually. Um, Export, manage, view. Yeah, you might you might not be able to, okay. but that's that's fine. So, page view. Um, um, yeah, I don't. I, yeah, that, I don't know that, what that that's is. fine right there. That's fine, but um. Okay, so I need to set up a custom conversion, right? Yeah. So. Create. No, no hover no. over the triangle, the blue triangle. Uh, okay. And then custom oh, okay. conversions. Okay. So yeah, um, nine eight zero eight. Okay, so this is the right. Thing. Yeah, that's the right one. So you got a custom conversion for this one, which is which is leads. So that right there, yeah, you did that right. You're all trying to work. Okay. You know what? Hit manage. Let me just double check. Yeah, all URL. Yeah, that's that's you set that up right. Okay, maybe we did this together this last time. Did we? Um, we may we may have, but I just wanted to make sure before I did it. We so um, if I have wanted to run, two, I have two different forms. So I have. One, so I did, I did one where it's, um, there's like a normal where you can sign up, right? You put information in for a solar lead. And the other one is for um, basically to get on the email list. So it's an article that I created and it's not asking for anything. Um, this is basically, oh, well, that's, this is the actual article, but actually let me take you through. Um, oh, shit, did I just get rid of the cartridge? take you through so I, I can show you 
this is why a solar proposal opt-in page and then a newsletter. So I'm gonna, that's gonna send them to my email marketing. Mm -hmm. So actually, let's just get the code real quick. You're navigating through this thing good, man. I could tell you've been in it. <laughs> okay, well, all right. So, um, so this is um, kind of like the article that I made for them to, if, so it's not, I'm trying to like do more of like, instead of super addy where it's yeah, just dude, like, yeah. you know, sign up, this mm -hmm. is more con like some free content yep. Yep. and they could, so I made an article and so they, they can give me their email and then get the article. So we'll just agree. Really cool. And man. then all right, it takes you here and there's four hacks and then for saving, uh, power or money on power you can click it right here and so it's not asking for anything you can't there's a i'm not asking them to sign up so i'll do both i'll do one like that but then this one as well and so this is the article i made for free content at the bottom you can get a quote but um super cool, so man. this so anyways so for this has a th oh that's an exit top of right um so this has a thank you page. So this is the sole rule proposal opt-in, which mm -hmm. the thank you page for that is the one we worked on. Thank you for mm -hmm. subscribing. Mm -hmm. um, or actually, that I think that was this thank you page. And then the one that we did, the thank you for subscribing, is the one for the newsletter. Mm -hmm. So there's two thank you pages. Um, so if I want to run an ad on Facebook, um, I need to do two custom conversions, one based off this one yep. and one based you got off it. of this one. So let's go in just real quick and make sure this man. one is got a pixel on it. So you want, you want to, you want two custom conversions and then you also want to set up two custom audiences. So the reason why the audiences are so important, a custom audience, the reason why that's so important is because as people opt in, they land on the thank you page. That is a specific custom audience. The, that's an audience that you want to be able to exclude from seeing any future ads. They don't need to keep seeing ads. They've already opted in. Right? This doesn't have it. Oh, that was the wrong one. Yeah, I understand. You want to pay for something, you know, that you don't need to. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to go back to. Yeah, let's go back to click data on the sources. Yeah, data sources Good. at events. Perfect. From a new website. Install Chrome manually. Copy. Perfect. That's all. And then we're going to do paste. That's the right number. Okay, so we have the pixel on this page now. Perfect. Um, and then we have to go to Facebook and um create two custom conversions is that right yes and so we got let's yeah, set that up on, real quick let's click on the triangle to the left the blue custom conversions oh shoot the freaking thing all right yeah and right here so okay. so that right there that was for uh this one thank you okay. for subscribing i believe just what you want to do is just be very, make it that title, just title it very specific, just so you know, you know what I mean? So click on, yeah, man, I mean, click on, your, click on it and then you just hit manage. So right here, it's that, it's that one right there. It's that, um, well, you can see the URL to the left. So. All right, let's type that in. You can always, see um, yes. Yeah, so what link or where does that take you? So all right, this is the newsletter one. Okay, so that is basically you signed up for my form, um, and so then that means we need to do the one where if they filled out like if they went to the newsletter, they went down and they wanted a solar quote, then this or if I just want to do an ad for the solar proposal, the thank you for scheduling page would be more like or the thank you for getting a solar quote page would be mm -hmm. this one. So okay. just this just title it page, as specific as you can. On the on the ad manager on the conversion side, just you always want those titles to be specific. Thank you for scheduling 
the disorder of hydrogen in the letters. Um, okay, so okay, so this right here, this one. See is how in the description, this one, yeah, subscribing, okay. subscribing. So um, just in the future, you could. I mean, we can always yeah. delete this one and create a new one. I mean, yeah. At the same time, like you can hit manage, hit manage, and let's just see if we can rename it. Click on rename. Uh, can I just or no? I have to. Well, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Got yeah, it. So okay. This, should we, what should we name it? Um, well, to tell you the truth, it's, it's leads. So whatever lead, if that's my newsletter lead, if that's my solar quote lead. Yeah, that was the newsletter. You know I mean? And I'm thinking really, it's, yeah. And, and it'll be the same title for the custom audience as well. So... Because that, oh, come on, stop it. That's too popular. Okay, so yeah, that one is that one. So this, okay, so this is now making sense. The ID, the eight, not, this ends with 3956. Does that have anything? Yeah, that's, fine. that's no. fine. Okay, oh yeah, here's the pixels. Yeah, there's the pixels. Okay. So we need to do create. Each a, a one has one. its own. Each one has its own ID, but the pixel is, is, yeah. is, is, is um, so we need to do a new Thank one, you. and this one's going to be for getting a solar proposal. So. Perfect. Oh, and then, and then also, you can see right here. And that's what you probably did not do for the first one. So we're going to delete, we'll delete that first one and do it over. But, okay. uh, but this is the proper way to do it right here. So the proper way to do it is, is give it the, the most specific name you can. The description is not needed. It's actually optional. Don't even put a description because it should be clear in that name already. So the name is enough. And then okay. the data source, that's the pixel. And then you're going all URL traffic. Leave it there. That's fine. And then, and then you're choosing the category. So the category is going to be lead. So scroll down, you'll see lead. Oh, okay. And so that's the lead. And then URL contains. And then what you're going to do is only grab the URL, not the, um, not the, so grab that right there, not the HTTPS or the www. Just grab the um, everything after the www. So go back to it. I'm trying to think which one we're doing here. This one's going to be for the scheduling a um, school proposal so that means that's this one um so let's well you can do just publish live publish live yeah i'll just get yeah. the you can get it so that's this one so what's oh hello yeah there you go see i knew i saw it somewhere all right um Solar quote, thank you, or, or thank you for, like, what, this is a thank you page, right? So thank you. And it could be as long as you want, to tell you the truth. Like, you could write a sentence right there if you wanted to. Thank you for inquiring, or thank you for. Oh, inquiring. Um, thank you for well it's not as they haven't scheduled yet i know yeah for, thank you for thank you for your interest in solar oh yeah i like that yeah i like that awesome. um, check mark and then um and then grab grab that everything except for the u except for the https Actually, no, go ahead and check mark it first and then grab all of that. Yeah. Everything but right up to the T. Perfect. Right there. Yeah, grab that. So for custom audiences and custom conversions, that's all you need. You don't need the HTTPS or the www. 
just grab that and then let's paste that in right there and then it always hit the drop down so on the custom conversion oh okay always, i remember that last time yeah there you go yeah Perfect. okay then it lights up blue the create and then hit the hit the back backspace one time bring it back a little the backspace hit, hit, hit create first no 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 hit the backspace oh Bring oh, that, okay. Bring that up. Oh, shh. What Actually, it's okay. Do it again. There we go. Hit the drop down. That's fine. Leave it there. Hit create. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, perfect. So let's 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 delete the first one, man. Let's get rid of that first. Let's do, okay. let's do that first one over. So we didn't click it. And then let's we, just, this um, is the first one. So that the newsletter manage, one. Manage, manage. Okay, and what you want to do off? Yeah, delete. What and, and so you see how it how it says inactive right there? Yeah. Go in and open up the tab. Go to that page. So go ahead and open up a new tab and paste okay. paste it paste paste that link. Yeah, there you go. Open that up in a new tab. See, so as we go and open it in a new tab, Facebook is going to register it. So right now Facebook should just they should have just received that that pixel. So if you refresh this, that should go active. Bam. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, good. So let's do the other one. Tracking code. Okay, so you are on there. All right, so this is thank you for subscribing. Let's get the. <clears throat> thank you. Let's edit that. Or um, sub. Perfect. Bam, got that. You're gonna paste it below, but name it right there. Perfect. All right, all right. So. Okay, so down, um, you'll always leave that. As long as you see a green dot there, you don't ever have to click the drop down. That should be fine. So then also select your own category. So always put it in the category. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this, could be, this could be lead. It could be, and I think there's even a subscribe. There's that subscribe Which down there. Lead. I mean, at the end of the day, it's an actual lead. So yeah. you can always... Put under lead and be good. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now do the same thing. Open it up in a new tab. Um, and then refresh the Facebook site. Bam. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks, so man. All right. Now, now what you got to do too, real quick, bro, is, yeah. is, is make those, you got to, you got to create two custom audiences. So go down, 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 down. Audiences. Audiences right here. All right. There it is. Yeah. You could see it up there or you can see it at the bottom. Perfect. So now you'll need, you'll want two audiences for those and, and mainly so you can exclude them. So you can exclude them from future ads. Create audience. Yeah. Damn, you got a shitload of audiences, dude. It's just experimenting. Oh, good. Uh, good. Just finding out what what works and shit. Okay. Um, and and if you're if you're like done with them, I would delete 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 like a lot of them. Yeah, I should I should I should clear it out. Yeah, clear it out later on. But yeah, these are mainly for for excluding. Um, now what you'll also do, so two, two custom audiences for these two exact ones that you just did, same thing. You're going to click on website and then, and then you're going to go to, you're going to pixel is already there. And then, and then, um, hit that all website visitors, hit that drop down and go to specific pages. And yeah, you can leave it at 30. That's fine. 30 days, but yeah, contains and just paste in, paste in that, that URL everything um yeah that that right there yeah perfect 
or actually damn it took it took everything grab um do it again and just do the ht without the https okay cool and then so oh what okay good that so we're going to name name this audience the same you can go to name it the same thing as you did the other one so you'll actually do you'll actually do three audiences um actually no you're gonna in your case you're gonna do four we're gonna do four audiences real quick and that's why i want you to clear out those other ones that you're not going to be using just so you can you know not yeah. have clutter because you'll want to be able to view these right yeah, away for sure Pan, but, but but two audiences are going to be these two. These are audiences who who are leads, so so we'll be able to exclude them from future ads. Go to hit done, and then do do it again for the other one. Um, and then the other two audiences, the number three and number four, will be audiences of people who only land on your landing page, but haven't opted in those are audiences that you'll continue to retarget in future ads. Oh, we should just get code. Yeah, that one's gonna be important. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So then um, same thing with these two. Um, actually, it already went active. Awesome. Cool. Or it already went ready. Perfect. Yeah, they're, they're ready, right? Yeah, both of them. Okay, cool. So you were talking, I need to make a third? Yeah, so the third and the fourth one, now go to just your landing page. So pull up both those landing pages and you'll create an... You, Actually, I want you to open up everything. Actually, open up the two landing pages and open up in separate tabs. Just, might as well just open them all up now. Open up the two landing pages, get the link. Yeah, get the link for both landing pages and then get the link for both thank you pages and just open them all up in separate tabs. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an audience um, of those who land on the landing page but never landed on the thank you page. Yeah, I like that. And and you'll just you'll just continue to retarget these these people in in every ad. That way they just keep seeing you over and over and over. So when you're doing this for other clients, are you really in there every day working on it or is it more coaching for them? Well, for the past three, good question. I mean, for the past three years, it was me. It was me up in there and, and, and doing it all for them. But what I do now is I, I coach them on it and that's what I've been doing for the past year. But where I'm at now, like as of like today is selling them an actual training course so all through Kartra, you know, I have all these videos and I, and I package all that up and sell mm -hmm. that to them. So it's a coaching program, but just teaching them just like this, man. All, but you know, it's just me. I'm on video. I'm on screen share. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is how you set up a conversion. Okay. This is how you set up a custom audience. So I'm just teaching them through my video course. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm selling them that. And that's for real estate agents, but all this, all this is the same shit for any business. Right, a lot of the similarities for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, so you opened up all four. Now let's- Except uh, this one. This one is, thank you for, the thank you pages, am I not? Yeah, the thank you pages. All right, there's five, why is there five? Because I have, um, oh, so this is the, oh, because this is the newsletter. All right, so okay, so here is uh, the form for the solar proposal. This is the form for the newsletter. This is a thank you 
for the solar bulls that thank you for this newsletter. And this is the actual, you know, um, article. So do I need okay. to do anything with the article? Like that means they actually opened up the article. So probably not. What, what you want to do is put your pixel on that for sure. Okay. So just the pixel, but, um, and even, you know, even, even, even an audience, let, let's set up an, a, a custom okay. audience for that as well. For sure. All right, we'll open that. Okay, so all, all okay. of those pages are open. Okay, let's close out that Zoom tab. You don't need that one open. Let's close out that one. In. Okay, so let's go to the Ads Manager, and then let's um, go to Audiences. Yeah, we're here. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be um, specific pages, and, and then we're going to go ahead and paste in the landing page. So let's paste in one, or it could be that one right there. It doesn't matter wherever you want to start. And then just call this one. Um, and, and in this one, this one, this one is going to be actually, yeah, you could just there. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave, leave it that link and then just um, name it, whatever, name it um, news article or whatever. Perfect. That's fine. And then close out that, close out that tab. And then let's go to the landing page. So any landing page, perfect. So grab, grab any, any one of those. Okay, perfect. So then let's go to the audience. Let's create another one, create audience, custom audience. And then, so website, and then this one's going to be um, specific pages. And then, and then, and then now what you're going to do is you're going to exclude. So exclude people to the right. No, Oops. not that one. X down out down right there. So now we're going to exclude and then all website visitors hit specific. Okay. And then right there contains, you're going to paste in the thank you page. You got it. Got it. Okay. So that's the yeah. solar quote. Mm -hmm. So it's this one. So the thank you page for a solar quote is this one. So I need to take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this. And then, and then name this one, name this one, um, um, solar quote website visitors. So again, this will be an audience you always retarget and, and, and you can go 30 days. It's 30 days. It can go up to 180. So why don't you change that 30 to 180? Anyone who visited my webpage, my landing page in the last 180 days, change the top one too. the 30, change that one to 180. So, okay, cool. So this will be an audience you always retarget. Okay. okay. And then do Solar the same one. thing yeah. for, for the next one. Okay. I like, I like that for sure. So we're going to take this one where they can look here. They didn't go here. So if they went there, but they never made it here, mm -hmm. we continue to be a, them. Yeah. And so perfect. All right. And then and this one is. Uh, And whatever it is, mm. website, website visitors, whatever, solar quote or whatever. It is, yeah, whatever uh, it is, website visitors. Perfect. So just remember to clear out those other ones that you're not going to be using. Yeah. Um, and, it's probably and, the... The other other custom audience, you know, it's um, I guess I don't know if it's a custom audience because I could probably just make it anytime in, in an ad, but um, it's the video view that I had a whole, paid to get a whole bunch of people to watch. So like you mentioned in yeah, your yeah, videos, yeah. there's like seventeen thousand views on it or something. I ran it for like a week, and um, awesome, I'll dude. Be, I'll, so when I run it, I'll, I'll I'll use that custom audience. You have that here. Um, let's see. Website, okay. Um, 
Okay, you don't. Let's create that audience real quick. Well, maybe. News article. Oops. Video panel cleaning. Yeah, so it's right here. So that's the one. Custom audience. This okay. is the panel cleaning video views. Click, click on it real quick. Okay. You set it up for. Um, Let's see, let's see if we can open it up further. Click on, check on the box to the left of it, panel cleaning video views, check the box oh, to the left. Okay. And then click on edit at the top. So this is in the past three, okay, three seconds. You did three seconds. Okay, people who viewed at least three seconds. Gotcha, okay. And, and that's what you'll wanna, you'll name it as well. So panel cleaning video views, three seconds. That way you can know exactly okay. which audience that is. Um, perfect. And that's another audience that you'll always want to retarget. So you'll include them in, yeah. each, in each ad. And just okay. remember, you'll always want to create audiences, custom audiences around the video. So any video you put out, make sure you're creating a custom audience around it. And, and just so if, I, if I put out a video, I need to go into audiences and then create an audience. Create audience, custom, custom audience, audience. Same exact thing, but you're clicking on video. video. And then, okay. And that's, I think that's how I did that one. Okay, yeah, but I need yeah, to do yeah. that. I need to do that for every video. You want to do that for every video, yeah. Okay. Not that you need to, but you want to, for sure. Okay. Like, for and sure. So any, yeah, so anybody who watches it doesn't have to do just that video, but any of the videos that they get retargeted. Got it, got it. Got yeah, it. yeah. Okay. Any video so you when, run an ad on. So kind of like at the, Point right now where let's go in and go to ad manager and create a custom let's do one and then i just want to be like to kind of walk through it real quick um and we won't go into like let's do it creating creating it to and actually post it but um yeah let me walk you through it create so this brand awareness what do you got going on right there all right so this is this is something i uh, that i I wanted to do before okay. I launched um, my ads. Okay. So what I did is I, I created three videos mm -hmm. um, and in, into my audience, my audiences. And this awesome. one I just did today. And so this is, I'm, I'm just paying for people to, to see my yeah. face. Yeah. Right. And then, so I'm at these same people in, in the audience. Now, when I put out my, mm -hmm. my, my ad that has my face in it, you know, it, they'll yes, be, man. they'll, they'll know who I am. Right. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm like, you know, I, it's a little bit of uh, you know, so first they saw me in the video view ad where I paid people to watch it. And then, you know, instead of going, it's been a while. So instead of going, they don't pretty dry audience to, you know, mm -hmm. butter them up first, just to be like, Oh, they, when they see you in your feed a couple times, you know, prior, and then they see the ad, you know, we don't, Heck you know yeah, what I'm dude. saying? So Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I, bro. I'm not getting any so, conversions here. This is just yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, to yeah. basically build. You yep. know. So just remember to create custom audiences around those videos. Okay. I, I, I need to go. And that's that. how that, that's how it's going to work. Yeah. So you got, it's all about the custom audiences. It's all about retargeting your custom audiences. That's what it's all about, bro. That's what it's all about. 99% of this is about mm -hmm. retargeting your custom audiences. Yeah. So this is retargeting my video view ads. Good. Really, um, and then you know, just in in the proximity cities, you know, with uh, mm -hmm. you know the areas that APS yeah, yeah, is yeah. in. Um, so those are the basically the two audiences I'm using. The you know when you create an audience, and then the custom audience would be mm -hmm. the, uh, the video view one. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll 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 take these. I'll I'll, I'll create custom audiences around that, and when I make my actual ad. I'll make sure that I'm retargeting who will watch these mm -hmm. videos for, yeah, sure. for sure. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll be definitely need to do that. So if I create here a custom conversion ad. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and um, you're in use exist. Yeah, just go to create new ad. And actually you may have to go back. So hit the, um, yeah, hit, let's go back from the beginning because right now you're in an existing campaign. Just leave this page. Yeah, and let's go from the beginning. So just hit the, the three lines, the drop down, and go to Ads Manager. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. And then a good habit to get into is just this whenever. This is the wrong account. <laughs> this is my other business account okay. from a while ago. So I have to just, You can hit it. that drop down in the top, that, four, right. two, that 452. Yeah, I think I'm here now. Um, so we'll just do kind of like the, the first two steps here. Okay, perfect. Create. So create. Well, I don't want to do that. Let's start over. Custom our conversions. Right. And then just, yeah, what I would do is I would, you want to get in the habit of, of titling everything as well. So you'll yeah. have three titles. You can leave conversions um, because you'll, you'll want to know that that's a conversion ad by looking at the dashboard. Yeah. But, but um, maybe putting a dash and then, and then just being getting specific with it. Like, which which video is that conversions is a video one is a video two is it right is it freaking like just being specific with that i used to always leave this part blank and then it's just the more ads you have, it gets confusing because you want to be able to look at the dashboard and look at everything mm -hmm. and and be able to know which ad is which but if you're just not yeah now i'm running into that at the beginning right? it doesn't matter but then you're like oh yeah. shit, what you're was right that now. yeah dude you got to click on everything you're like shit so yeah, get in the habit of, of labeling it and then just change that blue to gray, the on, that blue. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, you can turn that to gray. Campaign budget yeah. optimization. Unless you want to run campaign, unless you're running multiple ad sets. If you're running multiple ad sets. Um, okay. And so even, don't, don't run that on a custom version? You can, you can, okay. but, but it's up to you. It's, it's up to you if you're running multiple ad sets. Okay. Because what campaign budget optimization will do is it'll, it'll optimize which ad set is performing better. True, true. Yeah, no, like I, just, I totally get it. So, but yeah. on a custom conversion, usually you just run, you wouldn't do multiple, do you do multiple ad sets or you use? Yeah, you, yeah, for sure. You, you can, in this case, you could mm -hmm. just do one, but yeah, for sure. Just like you did those multiple ads, you could do multiple ad sets as well. And so rather I didn't, than, I don't know if I've ever done a multiple ad set. Oh yeah, dude. That, I think it, I've definitely done ad copies, but I don't know if I've done. Yeah, you've done multiple ad copies. Those are the three that you yeah. had, that you showed me earlier. But when you do multiple ad sets, what you're doing is you're 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 that split testing. Each ad set is targeting a different audience. So yeah, I I don't know when do you, when do you do that? So you create your first ad, and then you go into the ad manager, and then when you go to ad copy, you can actually go to like ad set copy. Yeah, like when, you like okay. as you as you set up. No, you got to set up the whole ad first. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of the best way to do it. Just go through the whole entire thing, set it up, set up everything, and as the ad is in review, then you go into the second tab, to the ad set, and then you just clone or you just duplicate. Mm -hmm. So you just duplicate that first ad set, and you create, you know, two more, three more, four more. Watch, for example, let me show you on the other one. Just go back to your ads manager. Let's go to the dashboard real quick. So if you, if you just look at this first one that you have, the brand awareness. So go ahead and check that first one, brand awareness. Just check the, yeah, check that one. And then if you're right here in the ad set, if you just, if you just simply um, check the box to the left of brand awareness, the box, check the box. Yeah, check the box. And then you could duplicate. So if you duplicate, that's multiple ad sets. So this is where you would change that number one. You could change it to two, change it to three, change it to four. And then, and then you would duplicate. So one ad set is targeting, you know, people who follow Tesla. The other is following people who follow Solar City or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I haven't been in here. Yeah. Okay. So I've only done, hey, you know, change what the ad says, the pictures, all that kind of stuff. But I've never yeah. tried to test audiences against each other basically with what this is what doing oh yeah dude that's what that's that's the ultimate yeah. changing the ad that's one thing and having three different images or running three different videos that that's one way but 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 mainly it's it's the audience like it's okay. the audience yeah no, I, I, okay I would, so I, I i i'll do that yeah that's I, what I mean, you can do for sure um but but back to campaign budget optimization that's what it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna do so you're setting the you know yeah yeah, set, setting it up and it's going to optimize to which one performs better and put more money towards that without you having to manually turn them off yourself. I'm going to delete these. Because that's what you're going to do. 
with the other one that you have going on, the brand awareness, you have those three, those three ads. And in, in this, the way you have it set up is you are going to have to micromanage that where you'll be in here looking at which one is performing better. And then you'll end up turning off the other two, maybe one of them outperforms. So you'll turn off the other two. You're manually yeah. doing that with the right. other campaign budget optimization. They do it for you. So you do you usually do the campaign. I always have it on. I, I feel like I don't I, know if I've ever, ever had it off. I, I don't always do it. Um, okay. Especially because, you know, mentors that I actually learn from don't really run it too much, but, but I do know that it, that's where Facebook is headed and that's, and it's not even going to be an option. It's, it's more. Required, really? Where do you think they don't, they, they don't want Facebook turn off certain ads um, because they're like, no, I want it to run. You know, I don't want you to basically stop pushing it. Well, Facebook, it's just, it's a machine. So they just want yeah. us to, they want us to succeed more than you can imagine. So, so b because they know it's a machine and the machine is way smarter than us, they're like, dude, let us just do it. Like, let yeah. us allocate these funds, do the campaign budget optimization, set up your multiple ad sets and let our machine do the damn allocating of the funds for you rather than you have an allocate funds on your, like, like, for example, the way you have brand awareness set up, you have these three different ads, you're manually having to, to do that. So they're just, they're just like, okay, run CBO and we'll do it for you. You know, so if you set up the, the budget there, they're going to just automatically allocate the best ad sets. Mm -hmm. to put yeah. Those. Yeah. No, that makes sense. You know, um, I, I did see one video of a guy saying that, you know, even though like he had Facebook basically, you know, throw, eventually it does its thing. And it basically just ended up pushing like the best one. He yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, you know what, but I still will keep a, like a one that maybe the best performing one was like a video, but mm -hmm. he'll still turn on and, and keep the, the, the image one running because, uh -huh. you know, he, he, he said that some people don't ever click on videos or watch videos. So he, mm -hmm. he'll still like have, so he must not have the campaign optimization turn on. Anyways, the, I was wondering about if, if I add a, like when I run it and then I like today, I was like, Oh, I want to add another video to the ad. So I added, and you saw there was one under review when it goes and it launches maybe tomorrow. Do you think that Facebook will be like, it's going to be underperforming compared to the other two because they've been on longer. So it's not going to push it. I think I ran into that in the past about adding ads afterwards and then it doesn't really get its time in the sunshine yeah. you know yeah you don't want to really once once you turn it on you don't want to try to mess with it too much like yeah i just was like oh you know i wanted three so i added another one so i just feel like it, yeah it's it's not going to do it for it's not going to push it because it's like the other two are you know going to be have more it's been up because it's been on a, a day longer i feel like it i feel like do you think that's that happens yeah that definitely happens but at okay. the same time at the same time facebook also i know doesn't spend the money just to spend the money. So if it's not performing, they just don't even spend money on it. Yeah, I've noticed that. So they spend some. money on the other two that are there. Yeah, right? it'll be it'll be good. Performing. It's honestly it's a good test to see like oh how how it yeah, works. Dude, yeah. And they're like, oh that makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, this is just a test. Um, and so, so there goes your your custom conversion right there. And and as you come into this, so now we're on step two, the ad set. As you come into here on the conversions, sometimes that green dot is not there. So if you X that out, X that out, sometimes it's just like this, it's just red. Yeah. Like, and, and then what you'll have to do is just click and just drop down and find that custom conversion. So we'll do this one, maybe like the newsletter um, ad. Yeah. So. Yeah, see, and again, right here at the title, yeah, you want to be specific so you can just know exactly what ad that is and 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 also i go to the extent where get even more specific so what are we doing here we're setting the budget actually the budget was set up at the campaign level so but in here you want to be specific as far as the targeting so are we targeting a zip code are we targeting a city are we targeting um a gender are we tar targeting an age group so right yeah so so right there it doesn't have to be a long sentence or a paragraph just description like brief description um and custom conversion doesn't need to be there you could take out custom conversion because that's okay. already labeled on the first oh, campaign okay. tab so we already know it's a custom conversion looking at the first tab so right here we want to just be newsletter um 
actually, you know what? Not even newsletter. Newsletter can go on the third tab. That's the ad. But, um, but right here could be age. It could be, it could be gender. It could be budget. Actually not budget because budget's on the first tab, but it could be um, city. Yeah, so yeah. Age, gender, city should go right here. Okay. And then honestly, I don't ever test the other, any other ages. I just usually do men yeah. that are from basically 30 Perfect. and up. That's fine. So put 30 plus and you, you do just men, you said? I don't need to put it if I always know it's just men, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not going to target yeah. And, and then again, the, the whole multiple ad sets, the whole objective is to test different audiences. Yeah. So again, in this, let's test, like, that's what you'll do. You'll either put a, an audience name that you're targeting or a city that you're targeting. That would be like just my video view. Video views, that could be on the third tab. That's the ad. Okay. Right, so right here, it's, it's 30 plus. It's, it's a city. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a demographic. It's a certain interest. Peoria, perfect. 30 plus Peoria and um, whatever interests you're targeting, whatever audience you're targeting. So are you targeting people who like freaking solar? Are you targeting homeowners? Are you targeting freaking people who, who, who follow Home Depot? Yeah. Like, so, you, and so really to focus on what targeting right here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Out of anything else, it's more like the the ages and who you're targeting. Yeah. So, like, yeah. if on this one, it would be um, uh, just who people who are interested in solar um, and who are in Peoria. Yeah, and and even and even the the conversion, you know, the newsletter subscribe. That's something you'll want to put there as well. And I know I told you to take, take off newsletter, but yeah, it's good to put that here because that's. That's who we're targeting. That's who we're optimizing for, I should say, is that conversion. So, and again, it's just a description. That, that, that title is just to make it easier on the eye when you're looking at everything at the da on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so that's perfect. That's fine right there. So, so conversions, that's fine. Scroll down, scroll down. Uh, show more options right there. Let's see what that drop down is. Show more options. Okay, we're good, right? Yeah, show more options. Okay, we're good right there. And and seven day, seven day. I know a lot of people go with one day, um, but this seven day, seven days after clicking or one day after viewing. Hit the edit. I know a lot of successful people that go with one day, so they'll just click on one day click. That means that the moment they they click, we're we're looking for them to make to 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 make an action or to to yeah. to complete it right then and there. Right. Yeah. So, so one day click, and this, this, okay. is part, this is part of testing as well. You'll run one ad with one day click. You may want to run another ad with seven day click, and that could be part of your multiple ad sets. And you can change that. And when you change the ad sets, right, you can go in and change the one day click, or you can. When you right. set up the, the second ad set. The second ad, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, yeah. Right, all right. But once this is, once this goes live, no, don't change anything no more. Except that if you duplicate it and, and uh, you're going to duplicate Test. it before it goes live. Right. Oh yeah. Do so do all of your duplications, all of your changing of your one day clicks and all right. that stuff and finish all that and then hit live. Don't go back after you hit live, change anything. Do, do, you're going to do the second and on when it, mm -hmm. when it's, when it's in review. So as we go through each step right here, then we yeah. confirm, boom, you're in review for a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. And then boom, that's when we're going to right then the very next minute, you're going to go and create the next ad sets. Okay. All right. Yeah, good deal. Or the next right. ads, like you did with the, you know, the other one. You created yeah. three ads, but you did the third one a day later. Okay. Try to do no, all three all at once. Have you have you done dynamic? I've never clicked on yeah, that. Yeah, you don't need that. I've, no I've, dynamic I've, I've, cl I've clicked on it, and I was like, I never noticed it. So what's is that new? No, that's that's no? that's 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 been there, but that's you can you can now watch read it. Right, right. Um. But you don't you don't need that. You can turn it off. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So then the offer you don't need the offer, and then scroll down. So right here, custom audiences. That's where you'll be including or excluding any custom audiences. So these are all your different, that's why you want to clean that shit out because <laughs> as you come in here, you're going to see all these damn audiences. And you're like, shit, I don't even use them. 
you only want the ones you're using in there. So, okay, so this one is for the newsletter people who um, are doing that. So, so I mean, you'll always you'll always include the people who landed on the page, website visitors of the newsletter, right? Those are people who haven't opted in yet. You may always want to include the three seconds. So not the thank you, try and solar thank you for, so this will be an excluding. Yeah, those, thank you be, pages. those are your leads. So yeah, yeah you're going to always news exclude. Article. So this is the landing page, I think the news article landing page. Yeah, that's um, solar solar four hacks to save. So this is the one we just created. So okay. I, yeah, I'll go back and delete. Like this one, maybe we did last time or something. But so this is the article main page. So people who went there. Yep. Now that pixel is 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 has no data on it yet. Yeah. So you don't need to include it now. But but you'll start including that once your shit starts getting traction. Like once these ads yeah. and clicks and that pixel starts getting data and that, that, that would be like ad number two and on mm -hmm. like after you run this for a week or whatever, like whatever your time period is, it's that next ad where you'll start doing this. Okay. Including and excluding. So yeah. All of these, you know, don't have any information on it. So the, the panel cleaning, the video uh, view ad has people on it. Um, yeah. So you can include that one, you know, if you want to get yeah, back into those people. Okay. So really that that's the only one that has an audience really on it. The, the rest of these don't have a mm -hmm. yeah. the no size be, available. Yeah, it's not gonna be ready yet. So locations, you'll change that. Age, you'll change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gender. Do you when you do do you do detailed targeting um when you every time or because do you just kind of do it once and make it a save audience and just keep using it? Well, you can do you can do both, but at the same time, if you make it a save audience, that just becomes a custom audience that you end up retargeting, and that's what I've been saying this whole time. But the detail targeting, yes, you'll want to put you'll want to put something there, and you'll want to put one keyword, and this is where the multiple ad sets come in play. So in this one keyword, we're targeting people who follow freaking solar, who have an interest in solar, and these are men between the ages of whatever. Yeah, that's one ad set. The second ad set, I'm only targeting one keyword and I may change up the gender on that one. You know what I mean? So, and then the third ad set, I'm only putting in one keyword and I'm targeting that. Yep. So. I got you. And then it's, it's about targeting and retargeting and. Yeah. But then also in the, in the detail targeting, it's about, it's, a, it's about finding that one keyword that that pops it's not by putting 10 words in there because if you put 10 different interests in there you're not going to know which is the one that is performing you're right absolutely right so it's right? be specific and then do multiple ad sets and see which one pops yes yeah no i got you yes. that, that's good yeah it's and, and 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 one let's say you do multiple ad sets you're paying per day multiple ad sets so if your budget was 20 bucks a day and you have four ad sets that's freaking 80 bucks a day. So, yeah. so okay. you got to always be sure, you know, where your budget is at with that. You don't got to go crazy, but at the same time, here's what I'm saying. Four ad sets are going out. One of them is going to pop that one that pops should make back what you spent on those other three that didn't. Yeah. And you're paying the prices to learn where your, your audience is. Yes, man. Right? Yes. It's, it's what you're, what you're really so, doing. And then you'll always go manual placements. And then what I would do is I would focus just on Facebook. And, and if you do focus, if you do want to run Instagram ads, then you focus just on Instagram you run it just on one at a time. Okay. okay so, so uncheck all of those checks, uncheck everything except for the first one, leave it in the newsfeed. That's where you want to be at, at all times is the newsfeed. It's just the, it's better RLI. It's cheaper. Yeah. It's not, it's not that it's cheaper. It's just okay. your entire budget goes straight to the newsfeed where everyone's attention is at. Very few people click on any other ad on, on, on the Facebook platform other than the newsfeed. The newsfeed is where everyone's clicking. So you just want your dollar. You don't want that budget to, to you don't want Facebook to spread it too thin by having it on all these damn platforms when mm -hmm. it's not, it's not even where 
the attention is at. So you'll be on the news feed, and then um, and then here you can go. Yeah, you can go schedule. Show more options real quick. Oh, okay. I'll go back. Yeah, go back real quick. And then show more options above, actually above, show more options. Okay, so um, where's your, um, where's your, where, where's, oh yeah, you set the budget, the, the, oh yeah, that's right, you set the budget at the front, in the front, that's why it's not showing here. Okay, cool, yeah. so this is just showing the date. Yeah, so start, end date, um, that's always good, is to, is, to, is to have a schedule, but if you're not going to schedule it, then just micromanage it and just know when to shut off you know ads because you don't want that shit to freaking run all damn month and you're like damn dude i forgot to turn it off <laughs> you know like that yeah. that could be crazy so i i try to always set a schedule actually um and then that's it and then continue and then this is the, yeah the last step you can you can okay. create the ad here so that's this is actually what i was going to talk about was the have you is the instant experience new the instant experience i've never i've never i never did that i don't i don't, I don't know what that i've is. i clicked on it for the first time yesterday and i and i was like dude I, I i don't know if i just never noticed it um or messed around with it but it's totally different it's something is that why is pretty, that what you meant when you messaged me yesterday yeah it's it's pretty cool i i think it, it's it's a new thing that they're doing. I really do. I, I've never seen it before. So I, I was messing testing, around man. with it. Yeah. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, so this is what we'll do our, the ad. Um, and then what I was wondering really is how do I get my Kartra form in Facebook? Right. Okay. Like, is that, is that where I, I'll do like a, I'll do like a video. Yeah. So whatever you're going to do, what, what I tend to do a lot is, post that ad on the business page first and then select post and choose it right here. So use existing posts. So that, that, if that, yeah, that post should be on your business page. That's what I recommend. Some people don't do it that way. They'll just come in and create ad from here. They'll grab that video from their computer. They'll grab that image from their computer. Right? So, so they create the ad, but, I'd rather have that ad on my business page 24 seven at all times, even when I shut the ad off. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So I just so said that, I use the existing post. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it says Facebook page is missing. Select like the Facebook page to represent your business. I don't, I don't know what's happening. So scroll up, try it. Yeah. That's, that's the same bit. That's the right business page. That's, at, that's where you have an Instagram account. Yeah, I do. I, I, I don't know why it's not added. I think it's cause I changed something on it and it's, 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 you can add it right there. I have to, okay. Yeah, so you're good. You're good right there. Perfect. Maybe that's why. That's why I did yeah. it. I was like, what is it doing that for? Okay. All right. Perfect. So, so right, we'll just do that for now. And then how do I get the Karcher form save to in video. Facebook? That call to action. Choose title. Yeah, see that call to action. You should be able to add button right there. Why in the hell can you not add the button? Um, you see how that add button is shaded? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Not sure what's going on. Let me refresh. Well, actually, if you refresh it, it it's going to, I think it might start you all over. So. But yeah, all you would do is click that add a button and then add your landing page link. It should say start over. It should say, yeah, start over. Or no, 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 continue. I'm so sorry. Hit continue. Now, is there, if the reason why that add a button, that add, yeah, the call to action button may not have been there is because you've already, is this an ad you already have running? Maybe, yeah, maybe I, you're right. Maybe okay, I selected. Yeah, so there's already, okay. Yeah, that's probably why it was a bad, so I just selected the okay, first Okay, choose like, a different video. one. Choose a video that's not, uh, that you're not running. Oh, so just go ahead oh. and not, yeah, just yeah. go ahead um, and change post. Yeah, it's, it's just being slow. You guys have an ice cream truck out front? Dude, you can hear that shit. I'm trying to mute so you don't hear that no, shit. No, it's fine. It's fine. It sounds Damn, dude. like a good And my time. window's kind of closed, too. Let me close it more. Hey, there, you know, technology's still here. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so, God, it's been so slow. My computer, I think, gets hot, and then it starts slowing down throughout the day. All right, so these, got to find one that isn't an ad array. Jeez. Um, I don't even know which one's not an ad. You could choose anyone. Choose anyone for the example. Okay, we'll just. Mm. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Hit continue. As long as it's not running, right? If yeah, as long as, long as it's not running. Okay, so. I don't think that's running. Okay. Okay. There we go. There's the ad button. So that's where your link for your landing page would go. And just like we set up the custom conversions where I had you just paste that part, this, this time you're going to do the whole thing. So this time go ahead and paste the entire link. Yeah, that goes right there. And you'll always go with learn more. The learn more button is the most clicked on button. Okay. So you'll always go with learn more. And then this should give you an update of what it looks like. All right, so now you see what this looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what you usually see on Facebook feeds, right? Yep. You got the right here where it's like gray. Mm -hmm. You can click learn more. You can click and it'll watch the video. If you, where, where are we at? Let's go to, I think you have to, oh, this is so freaking slow. Let's go to create ad. So I want to show you, I want to, I want to show you the uh the, that thing i was talking about headline oh my god description where are you um it's just being slow the instant experience so i just want to show you instant experience so it's kind of the same thing but we'll just do cust customer acquisition all right so this is, this will be the, the right something, will be the button, or do a video. So basically, here, let, let me just do, I don't like, I don't even need to do upload or create. I see maybe you can't do, you might actually need to upload from your computer to yeah, do you, it. Yeah, for sure. So you can't do like a, a new, or what a post that you've done. So this is, and I'll just hit done. So you can see just what I'm kind of showing you. So that would be the button. And then down here is a carousel of image that slides. Mm -hmm. We'll just do, all right. So, I th and I think I've seen this one time recently where someone actually used one of these on Facebook. And I just thought it was a good user experience. Like I clicked, so like what happens is like it takes up the whole screen mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't redirect you and does a loading time. Um, it's uh, pretty cool. So I would, I would, I would look into it. So is it create a full screen mobile optimized landing page or interactive AR experience openly instantly when people interact with your ad. So it's like, it's not, like normally like you click on a, oh, that video looks good. I'll click on learn more and it directs you to your landing page. It still does that. When you click on this, it, it'll go to, um, it goes to, to Facebook okay. landing page, right? No. Um, God, why can I, it, you, what it honestly it does, it, it sends, which is interesting. It sends it to your phone. So to review. So like I actually got a, a little, um, notification a notification that the uh whatever this is called my instant experience is ready to view on my phone um you can't see me can you see me right here yeah 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 okay so look so this is the instant experience and you can see it's got me and oh here i think it's really cool and then this is a these are photos. And then, so the learn more, right? He is right. Button is right here. That'll take him make me to my Kartra page. This will be my Kartra page right there. You can see. That's awesome, man. Um, oh shit. That's really cool. So here's, you know, it kind of shows you the video, the 
text button yeah. and this has got photos and then there's a write something button so you can put another button down there or you can just slide up and it'll take you to the whatever page you want it to take it to but it's a whole different like experience like i've never it's so cool saw so i feel like it's cool because instead of like like here we're on facebook mm -hmm. and you know basically this is what what you see is what you get right here right yeah yeah, yeah um yeah. i got words and i got a video and if i want to move do something i'll click mm -hmm. learn more mm -hmm. but this is like you click it and pretend you're on mobile like your yeah, yeah. whole your whole phone what i liked about it is your whole phone is taking up you you're not looking at an ad and while at the same time looking at it you're not seeing like what time of day it is and yeah yeah maybe, yeah you know what your battery level is or even like other things on facebook it's just the ad i don't know so that's really like, cool man I'm like, that's something right, that worth testing cool. for sure but uh, all right so let's that's it like so that. um, the i think i'm all set as far as like the the logistics of it yeah um, and then always that, just make sure that green that dot is green make sure that's your right yeah, pixel that's eight and that's nine, it man. Nine, eight Okay. And then, and then once you hit confirm, that's when you'll just go into the, into the second step, the ad set, the second tab, and then just create, yeah. duplicate. And that's where you'll create multiple ad sets. And that's what you'll want to okay. do for sure is, is. All right, so what, what you sets. think it's all about after you create your first ad, how many ad sets testing versus other audience would you, would you recommend? Four, 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 four. Yeah, four. And, and so. That's why in your case, like, I mean, again, again, budget is everything. So, but at the same time, it's not like you're running them forever. Like you're, you're going to run those for, let's just call it four to five days in four to five days. You'll know which one is popping. But, but yeah. even if you're, if you're going campaign budget optimization, the system's going to tell you which one's popping and the, and the system's mm -hmm. only going to put money towards those, towards that one out of four that's performing anyways. Yeah. So it's not like you're going to be bleeding money on these four ads on these three other ad sets that are not performing. That's, yeah. that's the benefit of, of campaign budget optimization is that it does it for you. It puts money towards the one out of four that is performing. Yeah. The, the, so, I mean, the, the thing about solar is that if you are you're so how solar consultants usually get their leads is they can buy them from lead mm -hmm. gen companies. Mm -hmm. And if, if what I do is I, if I see a lead gen company on Facebook, I usually mm -hmm. click on it and everything. So I actually try mm -hmm. to get, well, yeah. I, so I, my newsfeed is full of lead gen companies trying to get my good, attention, good. but I'm just doing it so I can learn what they're yep. doing. Hell yeah. Anyways. So that's what, that's what solar reps get their um, business from is they get it from, um, lead gen companies that just throw and the, the ads, I mean, they, they're nothing. They're a picture and words, right, right. but what they do is I think they just spend a ton of crap of money and they oh, just keep, oh. it's not about, Oh, this is a great ad. And this does that. It's literally, they create a, not like a fake Facebook business account because that's basically, you know, it's a smart idea. You just make the business page to run ads on. So there's nothing on their business page and they, just run a shit ton of ads off of them and you can and i you can see them they're like what they're doing they'll run it at a city with a picture it's like all right peoria so it has the city of peoria sign on it, it has words at the top mm -hmm. and to learn more to basically just a very generic you know form like this you know that's yep. all that they're doing yep. nothing amazing um but i know those those companies are getting a ton of leads because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know they 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 are really probably just worried about maybe they spent like ten thousand dollars on ads and but if they can you know on ten thousand dollars worth of ads it's like i can't go on that scale like they can so instead of throwing as like a, just a crappy ad with you know just a ton of money at it i have to try to do a little bit more creatively um, on but see, my side. Know, here's what's crazy. Here, let me let me change your perspective just a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's not even having to get crazy creative. It's the fact that the way I the way I see it is the fact that you win on personal branding alone. The fact that people keep seeing a real person. There goes Brian again. There goes Brian again. I keep seeing this guy in my freaking newsfeed. It's like because you're actually putting a face to your brand to your page, you win. 
Like that right there, there's no personality. There's no freaking face. There's no human being on that image. It's a boring ass corporate traditional basic advertisement. You win because it's your brand. It's your face. And you're putting yourself out there on video. I truly believe that. You're going to yeah, win. Yeah, you're going to win not even having to spend as much money. Yeah, that's why I, that's, you know, without spending as much money. Now talking about money, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, what do you, what would you spend as far as like on this one? If I run my ad, I do four, like you said, um, and I'm going to do a bunch to get. So what I want to do is I want to, wanted to get a bunch of people to do um, this article right here. I want, I want them to, I want them to go here mm -hmm get my page and then get their, I want their email mm -hmm. so then I can get them on my sequence so I can for free yep. just keep sending them email. That's all it's about, and then man. That's what, that's what I want to do. Cause yeah. I'm like, that's where it's at. I feel like is I can retarget them for free. Yep. So if I can get their email, really yep. I'll spend money on trying to get their email and then I'll just keep car treating them. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's the best approach, man. And so you don't come off as that traditional salesman. You don't come off as that traditional advertiser. You're actually giving value. You're educating via video. You're giving them yeah. something for free up front in exchange for yeah. email. And you just nurture yeah. that lead on the back end with yeah. more video via email. Yeah, that's, and that's exactly with, with, with a link. Under. Make sure there's always that call to action. So in your video, mm -hmm. man, there's always that call to action. And hey, guys, by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to yeah. chat. Yeah. So that needs to be at the, on the bottom of every page, a link to your calendar. That needs to be um, at the end of every video, a link to your calendar. Hey, guys, I'd love to chat with you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. Yeah, so I need to go in and make pages for each of the videos for my emails. Yes, and I'll, yes. At the bottom, I'll create a link to the calendar. Yes. Um, yes. which down here, I have a link to get a proposal, but I don't have a, so like that's the difference is like, what would you do? Would you do, how do you get them to fill out the information for a proposal or to fill out information? Cause I don't want to schedule, schedule, you know, because doing a solar proposal, you know, I would need, I would like to get their, you know, I don't know what's better to have a button to get it so they could put their information to get like here, get a quote or do a schedule button. No, get, get a quote, get a quote. You, I mean, in your case, you, I would, I would assume, and I would think that you'd want information up front before you even get on the phone with them. Yeah. So, yeah. so get a quote now that if anything, that would pop up where it would be a pop-up, get a quote. Now they pop, it pops up. And then now you're asking, it's a form. So it would be under my forms. So they hit that, they hit that red button a form pops up and that's where you're asking for all their information. Right. What do you spend? What was the last, you know, what was the freaking last bill? Like all these qualifying questions could be on a form. And then once they submit that form, then it takes them to a thank you page where you're asking them to schedule a call. You could do that. I mean, so get quote now, what happens if when you get quote now, what do you, where are you taking them to then or now? Okay, so you're taking them there. Okay, get solar quote. And then we're, okay, so thank you for scheduling. And this is just my website. So do you think I should? No, right? Yeah, instead of your website, that needs to be your calendar. Okay. Hey guys, so, thank you so much. My name is Brian. Just want to introduce myself. I am working very hard. I'm going to be putting together your quote designed specifically for you. And then, and then I would lead them to scheduling a call. So let me know when is a good time where we can jump on the phone and I can go over this free quote with you. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. Where you can I like that. that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, yeah. For sure. So that's okay, a so that would action. Be, yeah, I like that. Yeah, but that, that's definitely, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that. So then they can contact me and schedule some meet. And I'll, I'll change everything, but I was just yeah. curious about putting in a button for the the calendar. I have not done that yet. Yeah, for sure. Click so on the link. It's just yeah. And then scroll to the bottom. You'll see link to a cart your calendar right there. And then boom, just choose your drop down and choose your calendar. And then open a new tab. You'll always want to open a new tab. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
try to remember that on, on all these different pages. And I'll just test it real quick. Do I have to save if I, every time before I hit publish or can I you just know what? hit publish? I, I, I do. I don't know if you have to, but I, I don't know. I'm just in a habit where I do. I'm going to save freaking everything. Um, I just do it, but I'm pretty sure you can maybe go straight to publish live. Oh, I didn't change the text is all, so, but we'll click That's it. Fine. See there, and boom, take it straight to your calendar. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And so by the time Just... they're getting to this point, point, you already got a bunch of information from them, and, and now you're working on their quote. And boom. And that's it? That's all they do is they just do that? Yeah, dude. They click they on like... whatever time is available and then they enter their name. Oh, and they'll do and that. Click on the check. Okay. And then right here, yeah, phone number, perfect. And that's it. Okay. And then you'll get a notification. Okay. okay. Are your notifications, okay. are you getting a notification every time a lead opts in? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, except I haven't done a calendar one, but I just, looks like I just got it. Um, booking is confirmed. Um, but I haven't, Ooh, okay. So I got your booking is confirmed. And then this whole email was in like uh, Latin. So I didn't, there's some type of follow-up email people are getting at that. I haven't launched it yet. So nobody's received it, but that's in Latin. So I have to go into my calendar and like create a, like a booking confirmed email. Yeah, there's a, um, you'll do that in, in the calendar. Now there's two okay. places that you can do that. You can do that in my forms or you can do it in the calendar. I always do it in the calendar. So go back yeah. to the Kartra real quick. So, because for every landing page, there's an opt-in form. For every calendar, there's an opt-in form. So right there to, my, to the left, my forms, you can have where, when they fill out this calendar form right here. Oh, maybe a follow-up email is what I have it. Can I go in here and I can create the... Well, that, that's what I was kind of saying is the fact that you can, but yeah. I don't do it from here. I so do it from my sure. calendar. So go ahead and save it next. Okay. Let's see. Let's make sure it's off. Because rather than doing it through the forms, do it through the calendar. And I'll show you how to do that. So hit save and next. Okay. So success page. Okay. And then also here, let, let, me, let me make this clear real quick. This thank you page, the success page is yeah. a thank you for scheduling. <clears throat> I should change it to thank you for scheduling an appointment. Yeah, I need to, I need to no, change this. No, it doesn't thing. matter. Whatever you title it, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that, that that should be a custom audience as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, in Facebook. And I'll put a pixel on it. Thank you for scheduling. Give me, give me one second, B. Hold on, hold on real quick. All right, sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I know, I know you've been on over an hour i think so no, all good um but, but yeah. right here that should be an odd a custom audience that success page so okay. then you can always exclude those who have already scheduled a call from seeing mm -hmm. future ads okay yep. so hit save and next and then this welcome so yeah so you're not sending it from here this is the instant email so the moment they fill out a form don't do it from here the moment they set, they fill out the calendar the moment they schedule a, an appointment that's a welcome message that can go out right away, but I don't have it go out through here. So there's, they're on that list. Okay, cool. So save an X. So I have that first email go out under my calendars. So go to my calendars to the left. So go ahead and open that up. I don't think I've been here yet. Click on edit. So. Yeah, this is this right here, dude. I use I use a calendar for everything. How long does it take usually for someone that is just getting all this to actually, it's a lot to set up and do yeah. and like, like, mm -hmm. especially for your first time. So it was like, you know, yeah, I've probably been doing it for about a month and I feel like I've done a, a, a lot, but I'm, I'm yeah. close. I'm, I'm close, but I'm not there yet. But you're, you're, you're almost there, but yeah, dude, just depend on how much time you put into it. Yeah. But at the same time, this is the most important, like this is where everybody, you know, messes up on, on advertising. They don't have their back end down. This back end is the most important, you know? So, I, I, I would agree. It's going to do a lot for me. Yeah, dude. So you can always change out that logo. Um, go ahead and hit save and next. And then that custom marquee, that's the image that you see of that guy or whatever. You can always change that out, okay. the custom marquee. 
But right here, hit change. This is where you can title solar appointment and then your name right there and then the, and the time. You can go, um, and those intervals, I don't know if you want that to be that way every five minutes, every 10 minutes. Like I normally schedule it by the hour or, or by the half hour. Like I'll keep mine at zero, but that's just me. Like, um, yeah, I haven't been in here yet. I don't think so. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, do that. so you can uncheck whatever day you're not, you know, open Sunday or whatever. Yeah. And then, and then on, in my case, what I do on the calendar like I don't leave every month freaking checked. Like I don't want, you, we're in August. Like don't yeah. go to my calendar and schedule an appointment in freaking November. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure that, um, and I'll have to micromanage this part because I set mine to the 15th. So you can only go to my calendar and see something open to the 15th. After that, there's nothing available until I go in on the 15th and then update it to the 30th. Got right. It. So that's a little micromanaging, but at the same time, it, I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, I, that's how I do it. Um, and then um, you would just always make sure that the form is the right form that they're filling out, which is the bottom, go to the bottom, um, that calendar, perfect. So that's the right form. Um, and then just scroll to the top and you'll hit uh, save. And then save and next. And then the communications, that's the right email. Right. That's so I, the right actually, I, I made my own. I okay, good. That. I, because that was my, you know, through my bit, uh, some solar systems. Okay. So what you'll uh, want to do. So this is the one I'm actually changing. And to. you know what I would do also? Okay, perfect. So then um, we'll integrate that. Therefore, you don't have to change it every time. But just a, a little quick tip. Uh -huh. On the sender name, I'd make that your name. We need to be more personal. Brian Mitchell. Yeah. All right. Like I, yeah, I would, yeah. No, but I would, I would even take out, uh, try and like, I would put Brian Mitchell. Like you want that to just be personal, man. Email, like you'll have a higher open rate. Okay. If it's your Do, name. Yeah, for sure. That makes yeah. sense. But right here. So in, in my forums, there was that welcome message that could have went out the moment they opt in. We mm -hmm. turned to that. We turned that one off. So we can have it go out here. Okay. So this is a booking message. So the moment they book, then they'll get this email right here. And that's where you'll just hit edit. And then you'll. So this is the email that I got. <laughs> so right there. I'll, I'll make sure I'll put in my uh, yeah. template. And Perfect. I'll, I'll Perfect. change that. So do you have, you have a template now? Um, yeah. So yeah. it's all usually looks the same. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So that one, and then you could change the reminder. Like I have mine go out, you know, an hour prior. Okay. But you could change it to whatever you want, but make sure you edit the email on that as well. And then um, save, and then yeah, save and next. Sent that you can leave all that on. Save and next. Save and next. And then um, right here, it's scheduled to that. Is it, they subscribe to that list, so that's perfect. And then you can save and next. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to click on my integrations to the left. And then right here, so go ahead and change that Karcher mail if that's not the email you're going to use anymore. So I'm going to hit the three dots. Oops. Do you want to change that one? Got it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. That way you don't have to change it every time. Yeah, no, that's going to be nice. I was wondering where this was. I was trying to find it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. You're good there. And so update those pages and the emails, update the calendar reminder and the, and the confirmation email. And, yep. and you should be good, man. It just comes yep. down to just testing, testing ads. And, and, and that's the thing about ads too, man, is the fact that because you're building a local business, you, in my opinion, obviously, yeah, money. I mean the budget, yeah, you're spending money. Yeah, I get it. But at the same time, like I, the way I look at it is you kind of can't go wrong especially when you're, when you're running video, the fact that people, even if they haven't converted, even if they haven't opted in, you're paying to get your face seen. Yeah. So it's like, dude, like that's why sometimes you may not have the highest converting ad, but 10,000 people saw your damn video. 
Right. You got to look at that as, as worth, worth something, man. Mm -hmm. That's freaking worth something. That branding is worth something. You know what I mean? So that's why I want you to kind of look at it where it's like, yeah. man, I'm going to have fun with it and I'm going to just brand the shit out of myself in my local area. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And I have I, a good perspective on it like that. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I think something that I've learned definitely is that it's, especially doing a lot of listening and, and learning about marketing is like marketing. It's like how maybe I thought of it at the beginning was like marketing is put an ad out and convert on the ad we're really marketing that's not marketing like marketing is just what you were talking about just give out content basically yes and just man. Yeah. it's not about converting it's really and converting is a byproduct of just putting out content yes dude then people yes. and it takes a yes. long time mm -hmm. but if you you can you like guys talking about those companies that spend a ton of money they that can work right but mm -hmm. that's um not realistic for someone like me but what you can do is you can do it where you give you know valuable content and then you know you get it and it wouldn't i wouldn't say organically but i mean relatively organically when you when you just create a local audience and stuff and a, yeah. and a well, brand. if you're doing a nationwide brand then then you could do it organically but if i'm tar if i'm working in a, in a specific area then it then it has to be a paid ad Oh, I'm always Maybe. doing pay ad. Yeah, the art, it's not yeah. going to happen organically. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. organically, as far as I mean, like, you're you're not spending like a, like you know a ridiculous amount of money on yeah. it. It's 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 going to grow. You give a little push, mm -hmm. but it, mm -hmm. it 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 should grow. But and you got to keep feeding it. I need to like continue like every week, and I have been. I think I've been consistently putting out content. So keep doing um, it, bro. Keep just, doing it. You're gonna crush it, man, and just keep me posted. Let me know how these yeah. how these conversion ads go. I will. I, you know let's, what? In about a week or so, going. Keep... Let's set up another call after that. Like let like okay. run them for a few days, and then let's set up another call after that, and let's let's analyze the numbers together. I'd love to do that with you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm excited. I will work on that, and my goal is to have the ad running. You know, hopefully, sometime within the next, you know, yeah, whenever, dude, four whenever. days. So. All right, man. Thank you so much. Good, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you. And Kartra is awesome. I love You're it. You're the man, bro. Stay right. in touch, right? All right. Thanks, David. Thanks, man. Later, bro. Later.